Hey friends, Lazy Gator Worminator here today to tell you that I am concerned for Lightfall. Not Lightfall, the final shape. Holy crap, sorry. I'm concerned for the final shape. Let's talk about why. Uh, of course, yesterday Bungie had their daily or their weekly twa twid, sorry, not twab, twid, come out and talking about, you know, the future of Destiny, some stuff like that. And in there, they made mention that Lightfall, uh, not Lightfall, Final Shape is in early development. I'm going to call it Lightfall. I apologize. I'm talking about Final Shape here. But Final Shape is in early development. This right here is problematic for me. Okay. Um, number one, it's no secret here on the channel. We have been kind of bashing Bungie because of their moving of developers and stuff to another game. Right. And that's a big issue because nobody like less people are working on destiny and and the players have honestly felt that right we felt it when lightfall dropped we feel it with with every season that feels really bland and boring and all the reskins and reissue and revamp blah 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 blah. all those all those words you know that that mean the same thing basically but final shape is in early development why is that concerning and it, it's quite simple we are what, like three or uh, nine months away from Final Shape? And I know nine months sounds like a long time, but we're nine months away from Final Shape and Bungie is basically just starting on it. Why? I, I, I mean, I get that, you know, oh, video games, blah, blah, blah. But here's the thing. Final Shape is going to be the end of Destiny. Like, I, I know that I'm not the only one that believes it. You know, Bungie's moving on, okay? And it sucks for us Destiny fans because... They're moving on. Our favorite game is slowly but surely dying out, going away, whatever you want to call it. But it's the cycle of life with games. Um, but Final Shape is going to be the grand finale, right? I mean, this is supposed to explain basically every question that we've had since the start of Destiny. You know, the, the witness, the, the, you know, enemy, whatever faction, you know, the pyramid fleet. Like, we're going to get answers to all that stuff. We're going to end the light and darkness saga, which is basically the end of destiny too. But it is just now in early development, nine months away. It is nine months away till it or nine months till it is ready to, till it should be shipped to us and in our hands. And Bungie is just in early development. This deeply concerns me. Why? Because this is not something that needs nine months of development. This is something in my opinion that needs years of development. Now, Hold on, before we go any further, I know that somebody's going to say, well, the story has probably been in development, blah, blah, blah. Yes, I'm sure the story has been in development for, you know, X many years or whatever. That, I'm 100% I'm sure that the, the, the story for Destiny 2 is written. Somebody at Bungie knows what's going to happen in the final shape, right? That's not my issue. The issue is the actual gameplay, the, the you know, weapons, the armor, the, the subclass elements that we're getting, like everything in here is an early development. And this is this is the finale, guys. This is supposed to be a major, major DLC. And they're starting on it nine months. And early development could mean they started three months ago. I don't really know how they term early development. But early development does not tell me that they've been working on it for quite some time. Okay. When this DLC drops, or, or whatever, whatever you want to call it, yearly expansion drops, the final shape, we are expecting a lot out of Bungie. Right. I mean, this is this is the grand finale. This is where this is where Bungie needs to over deliver. They don't need to do this. This thing with Lightfall, where like they ship it half done, basically, and they explain the rest of Lightfall story over the next three or four seasons or however many seasons. No, like this is the go big or go home moment for Bungie. And they're just now starting it in development. The 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 worry that I have here, you know, is is this going to give Bungie enough time to make a fully fleshed out fantastic location on top of having a fully fleshed out fantastic raid with fully fleshed out fantastic weapons armor unique you know raid armor raid weapons world armor world weapons like all this stuff is bungie going to have enough time and i'm sure that they're going to have enough time to do it but is it going to be quality or is it going to be something like lightfall where we got reskins of moon weapons because here's the thing like it is going to be the most disappointing thing ever if bungie goes out and they take, you know, uh, X weapon from, you know, the throne world or something like that and reskin them. I'm going to be, I'm going to be disappointed. And I think everybody else is too. And same thing, you know, with, with armor, if the armor does not bang, you know what I mean? If the armor is not an absolute banger of an armor set, you know, 
it's going to be disappointing. If the raid is not an absolute banger of the raid, best raid we've ever had because uh, uh, su supposedly we're going to be killing the witness in the raids. That's not canon or anything like, like that's just what I've heard through the grapevine through rumors. I'm sure that other people probably heard that too, but if the raid is not the biggest, best, most challenging yet most rewarding raid we've ever had, it's going to be disappointing. And especially with Bungie having a substantially smaller staff working on it, I'm worried. I really am worried about the final shape. I'm worried that we're not going to get everything we're, we're hoping for with the literal finale of a 10 year story. I'm worried about it. And that's, you know, that's, that's, that's a, that's an issue. That is a, that is a complete issue. And it sucks that we even have to make this video talking about why we're worried about this. Like, like destiny one Bungie would not, I, I mean, I wouldn't be thinking this. You know, I'd be excited to see, oh, where are they going? Where are they going? But now instead of excitement, I'm feeling nervous. Like, oh, like, yeah, it's going to be exciting when it, you know, the day before, but leading up to it, I'm nervous that we're not going to get what we expect from it, you know? And I know, I know it's, it's a running theme on our channel here to taper your expectations, right? You know, don't expect all this grand stuff. You know, we had a video uh, pre-Lightfall explaining what to expect from Bungie stuff like that and not to get your hopes up super high. And look, I mean, that video, basically everything in that video kind of panned out exactly the way we were thinking it would, which is really unfortunate. I don't like to be a predictor of negative futures, but at the same time, there's a reason I predicted that. It's because Bungie's path. Right now, I'm not going to predict anything for Lightfall. I'm sorry, uh, the final shape but I am worried that they're not going to have enough time to deliver one of the absolute greatest DLCs of all time. Because if there's ever been a time for Bungie to deliver a strong DLC or yearly expansion or whatever, it is, it's with the final shape, you know, close destiny out on an absolute banger. That kind of leads me into the next topic. You know, Bungie has said, Oh, you know, we're not done with destiny. You know, the light and darkness saga is over, blah, 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 blah. You know, I would rather them, be done with destiny and leave it in the past then give us terrible future expansions like if we get future expansions like lightfall that's gonna be miserable you know and yeah like i i i, I might still play it i mean if it's if it's if we're getting absolutely crap expansions and they're charging you know a hundred dollars for it no i'm not gonna play anymore okay i i i love the game very very much but if i had to put my foot down and say no i'm not spending money on this on this week content i will you know i will but yeah i don't know that, that that's kind of my thoughts on the whole situation we're in here with the final shape and and post final shape and stuff like that but i you know back to specifically the final shape bungie this is your go big or go home moments get it in gear move i would even say i don't know when marathon is set to ship right i don't know when it is but what i would say get all of your team or a majority of your team back on destiny to crank out the greatest expansion we've ever had. Then say, you know what? We're going to take a year off from destiny, blah, 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 you know, and go do whatever. I would rather than be honest and tell us that than then give us a terrible final shape. Like literally the name, the final shape is, is, is it's the finale and I don't want it to be bad. And I cannot stress that enough, but I need to stop rambling and repeating myself here because of course that's, you know, we don't need to repeat ourselves. But with that being said, you know, I hope that we, I hope the final shape is fantastic. I hope it's the banger. Uh, I want to hear, of course, you guys thoughts. Like, what do y'all think? Do y'all think Bungie should actually continue with destiny or would you rather them, you know, after final shape say, Hey, you know what? This is the end. This is it. Leave destiny in the past, you know, uh, or run the risk of them basically ruining it further in the future. Like I, I want to know you guys thoughts because me at the point, the destiny's in now i would rather them give us a banger and close out everything than have us you know oh we're gonna do this whole new storyline saga blah 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 because i don't think it'll be good i don't think it'll be as good or anywhere near as good as what destiny's been in the past what destiny currently is i mean and destiny like we talked about is currently not in the best shape right now you know and so if it just continuously goes downhill sorry that's the wrong direction for y'all uh what is it what is it what is it was it that but the, the, there we go there we go there we go downhill if it goes downhill anymore i mean it's it's just in it's going to insult players you know our beloved game i you know we've been a lot of us have been playing since 2014 
you know, is now in a really, really rough shape, you know, because Bungie wants to expand and do other cool stuff, blah, 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 you know, marathon, whatever. I'm not against marathon. I'm not going to sit here and say, oh, like, I hope marathon fails, blah, 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 and stuff like that. But like, I think that what Bungie's doing with putting marathon as a priority over destiny is going to be very bad for final shape. And they're only in the early development of Final Shape. So, I don't know. I, of course, let me know your thoughts on the Final Shape. How do you feel about Bungie being in early development? Do you think this is a, an appropriate time to start? Or do you think they should have started on Final Shape, you know, a couple months ago? Six, seven months ago, you know? And do you think, do you think that they will deliver with Final Shape? Or do you think that so much their staff is going to be focused on Marathon that it is that the Final Shape is just going to be basically another Lightfall? You know, the other half of Lightfall, so to speak, because Lightfall, in, in my opinion, did feel like half of a DLC. But yeah, let me know your thoughts in the comments. Of course, if you like the video, drop a like. It really helps the channel out a lot. We are on our way to 500 subscribers, so subscribe for more daily Destiny content. Um, with that being said, watch the video you see on the end screen now, because for whatever reason, YouTube thinks you like it, and I will see you all in the next one. Bye for now, guys.